Hey guys, I'm back today doing a requested video and this is for my aunt Emily. So thanks to her for sending me her request for this video. And when I think of pepperoni, I actually think of Diwali. And this is because every Diwali, me and my sister, we would go to Diwali Nagar, we would buy pepperoni and then we'd be bawling our eyes out because it was so hot. Because they do, they do like a, they actually ground the pepper up and then they paste it onto the roti. So it's like a raw pepper, it's bad. So we would be like dribbling all over the Wali Nagar because it was so hot and we would go back every year. So we just loved it so much. And if you don't know what the Wali Nagar is, it's like, it's kind of like an expo um, where they showcase they showcase the Hindu culture before Diwali, it's like a few days before Diwali. Um, it goes until the night before Diwali and the night before Diwali they have like a big fireworks show and it's really fun. Um, we used to go every year but so that's what made me think of Paparoji, um thinking about Diwali and I know Diwali is coming up so a lot of you are gonna want this recipe. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. I know a lot of people make it differently, but I'm just going to show you the way I make it. And there's no wrong way or, or right way. It's just, you can, do, you can do it however you like. That's the beauty of cooking. You can put whatever ingredients you want. You can make it however you want. That's what makes cooking fun. So if you want to see how I did it, then keep watching. So first you're going to need two paratha doughs here. You can find this in the link above. You'll see that I did. I showed you guys how to make this already. So you can find this in that video. You'll need two potatoes that we're gonna boil and mash. I have about a half a cup of grated carrot. A half a cup of Caribbean green seasoning. I'll leave a link in the description box for this below. And I have a whole pepper here. You don't have to use this. You can use any type of pepper you want. You can use pimentos as well. I have some pimentos in here. And I also have pepper in here. So I'm just going to be using probably a little piece of this. And I'm going to be using about a half a cup of cheese. If you guys have Trinidad cheese, you can also use that. But I don't have access to that right now. So I'm just going to be using this shredded cheddar with Monterey Jack. And for the roti as well, if this will just make one big pepper roti, but if you want to make about three, you'll need six of these doughs because you'll need one for the top and one for the bottom. So just keep that in mind. And you'll also need a bit of oil to brush your towel with for the rotis. And well, of course, you'll need a towel and you'll need a bailna to roll the rotis out. So that's it and you'll need maybe spatulas or dabblers if you have to turn the roti. And that's it. So I boiled my potato and I mashed them. Now we're going to add a little bit of salt and black pepper and then I'm going to add the seasonings. So you're just going to add about a teaspoon of salt for now and then we'll taste it after some pepper I'm adding this green seasoning and the carrots and you can also add sweet peppers um, you can add onions whatever type of vegetable you want to add. So you just want to mix this well. And just give it a taste to see if it needs anything else. Mine is perfect. So I think the one teaspoon of salt would be good enough for you. So now I'm going to show you guys how to roll out the dough and fill it. So now I'm going to roll the dough out. 
I'm just going to put a little bit of flour onto my surface. I'm going to take one of the dough, press it with my hand. You can roll it how thin or thick you want it. You can just flour your rolling pin so it won't stick. So roll it to how big your tower or your griddle is. So I think this is a good size. So I'm just going to set it aside somewhere else. Now we're going to do the next layer. This would be the bottom layer. This is the layer we're going to put the filling on. So at this point you want to put your towel on to medium to low heat. You don't want the heat to be too high because you want the roti and the cheese and everything inside to cook well. So now I'm actually going to fill this. So you're going to take your filling and you're just going to put it all onto the dough but you don't want to want to go past here. Because this is where the next dough is going to come and stick. So you want to just put filling up to about here. So. I'm just going to use my hands. But if your hand is sensitive to pepper, then I suggest you don't. I suggest you use gloves or just use this spoon. See, so you just evenly distribute that filling onto your dough. Now I'm gonna put the pepper, the hot pepper. You're just gonna sprinkle it on there. gonna just sprinkle the cheese you can put more cheese if you want this is just how much cheese I want you can also put more potatoes if you want a thicker roti what you want to do you want to have like a cup with some water just dip your finger in the water and just press the ends of the dough where we're gonna stick the next one so just press it really good okay. and just sprinkle a little bit of flour where you put that water Now you're going to take your next dough that you had and just place it over this one and pull it to the end. Pull it and just stick. Press it in. I 
and you gotta be careful with this because the dough could rip and you don't want that because then you'll have filling falling all over the place You can also use a fork to press the press in the end. Okay, so that's your roti. Now I'm gonna show you the tower. I have my tower heating, and now I'm gonna put the roti on there. So I have my tower hot here. I'm just gonna put some oil, some canola oil, and just brush it on there. Now you want to pick up your pepperoni and just place it onto the towel. And be careful because you don't want it to break. Now I'm just going to brush the top with some oil. And let it cook until the next side gets nice and crispy. I'll tell you guys how long it takes. So it's been about four minutes now and I'm smelling it. I'm smelling the roti, so now I'm, I think it's getting a little crispy on that side, so I think it's time to turn. And this is where you want to be careful, okay guys? So take your dabla and gently slide it underneath. And now you just want to turn it. See that nice brown color? This is when you know it's cooking really well. And you just want to tin it just to distribute the heat throughout the roti. So we're going to let this side cook for a couple minutes again and I'll show you guys. So it's been another four minutes and I'm just going to tin it over again. And be careful, okay? It's going to break if you snag onto the flour. And you just want to tin. Wow, you see this nice color? And you want to make sure the ends are cooked nicely. So just leave it to cook for two minutes on the side and we'll just turn it again. So it cooked for two minutes on the side now. I'm going to turn it back. Let it cook for a while again and this side is already starting to open up so I don't want it to start spilling all over so I'm gonna take it off the tower now and you need to be careful as you take this off because if it opens on the ends it can spill so you can use maybe a spatula along with a dabla just to help you So I have it on my pizza stone now and I'm just gonna slice it up. Okay, that's my pizza cutter. You can also use a knife if you don't have a pizza cutter. See how crispy it is?
I'm just gonna use my knife because this is a pain. for spending time with me in the kitchen today guys and learning how to make paparotti I hope you all try it and leave me a comment below and let me know um, what you thought of it if it was your first time making it and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye